Hello, welcome back. My name is Carrie Waltz and I share tips, tools, and techniques for the artist in you. And today's focus is sharing art supplies and teaching others. I think all of us have a desire to share the love that we have inside for creating. And this past weekend, when my husband and I hiked up to Linfoot Hike Inn near the Appalachian Trail beginning of the Springer Mountain, I ran into two women, Laurie and Erin, and I was able to share some of the things with them. Very like-minded. We even take similar pictures. It was really, it was really fun. But on a rainy day, I chose to stay in and we had an impromptu, impromptu watercolor class. And I was so glad that I had taken a few extra watercolor supplies. If you want to see the kit that I made, I'll post the link up here, but it was less than a pound. So you can go for a weekend. You can share art supplies with others. You don't have to carry a lot and enjoy the time you can with other people. If you stay to the end, you'll see how to make a teeny little journal. I made one at Linfoot Hike Inn, a little summary of some of the part highlights of my trip. And you can make them in different sizes, but the directions for that will be at the end. So please stay tuned for that. Thanks. It was really fun to spend time with Erin and Lori and get to know them a little better and share things from my art. And one of the things that I did when I was there, uh, well, this was a, one of the first scenes I painted. It's a view from Linfoot Inn when Brad and I were having lunch. And this was a mug that when you get there, they want you to conserve water. So they ask that you keep the same cup for your stay. And I, it, I also included some reservation information if anybody was interested. I also had a new hairdo. My <laughs> hair was in a double braid to help hold my hat on. Part of the, one braid went through the hat hole and the other was underneath. So that worked out pretty well. There was a view of Linfoot Hike Inn as you walk up to it. And so it, as we walked, hiked in that morning, it was a beautiful day and a little cloudy and the rain moved in on Sunday and that's when we, we decided to stay in and when I offered to have an impromptu watercolor class and they said yes and we're excited about it it just made my day. This was the sunrise at the very end of our hike. This is made out of two stone pieces that are leaning together and the sun comes right through a hole when it's summer solstice, summer or winter solstice Today was not that, but I could kind of aim the, the sun to come through. And I'll show you a picture of that as well. But one of the things I showed them was how to create a journal. And I promised I would show you that at the end of the video. So here we are. We start with an index card. And I'm going to fold it and tell you how uh, my middle school kids would call this the hamburger fold because it's not as long. Make sure you have a good crease on there. Open it up. Now we're going to do the hot dog fold this direction. Make sure you have good strong creases. Sorry if there's shaking. I'm, I'm on a on a temporary table right now. Now this center fold, I want you to go carefully fold it to that center fold. Have a nice crease hopefully with your nails if you have any. The better your creases are the better your little book will work. And you open it up. I want you to go back to the first fold that you had. And if you can see this, there's an X or a plus sign. I want you to put the fold facing you. Take a pair of scissors. Cut to the fold. Okay. Now set this on the table with the fold cut up. Take the two sides. Turn them so they stand up. I'm going to crease that a little better. Okay, then you close it and you have a little book. So you have the front, the inside, you can do two separate ones and a back. And this is what I did for Linfoot Hike In. When you hike up, the blaze is green. So I painted that to remind myself of that. This was the view from our lunch spot. This was the delicious blueberry cobbler that was made by our chef Jeff that night. This is my Dirty Girl Gators that fit over my hiking boots. Keeps all the sand and grit out of my shoes. And I wanted to remember the Hike In logo at Amicalolo State Park. So, you can make these in any size you want. This is a larger index card. Does the same thing. Now, this is not watercolor paper. So, if you're doing small ones, you really need to use index or cardstock type paper. This one is made with watercolor paper. It's a lot thicker, a lot harder to fold. So be sure you score the area you want to fold before you fold it and it will fold much easier. 
I hope you like these ideas. Try some. Check it out. If you want to travel ultra, ultra light, take a tiny journal, limited palette, a brush, and go for it. Thanks for joining me today. Give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you next week.